Hello everyone, it's day 98, I'm teetering on the brink of a 70 pound weight loss. And even though I've lost almost 70 pounds, I still have this facial fat, this under chin fat, which is that has actually greatly diminished. But, and I have lost a lot of weight in my face, but I still, as you can see, like my cheeks still have a lot of fat in them. Hence this, and it I, I can't stand it because it makes me look like I've got bags under my eyes, but I actually don't. It's just from my fat here. I hate that. That will be gone soon enough. <sighs> okay. So today, I'm going to show you my scarf. And... While I have week by week progress of my wound from like the second week that it was a wound, basically the first week that I started going to the wound clinic because the, that first week that I had the wound, I was in the hospital. But then after I think a week, they sent me home and then I would visit the wound clinic three times a week. And one time of those, out of that time, they would, um, one day out of that week, I can't think, uh, they would, that's when they would do their cutting, they would do their measuring, they would stick their hands inside and just fuck with it, and I hated that, I hated that, that was torture, literally, it's torture, having somebody go in, stick their hands inside your guts and start cutting at it. Like, really? Would you like that? If you have gone through it? I love you. Okay. So they took pictures every, whenever they would do the measuring, after they do the measuring, they would take a picture of it. So I have, on a disc, week by week pictures of my wound from the very second week that I had the wound, like after they had taken out the staples, up to nine months that it took to heal. I've never looked at these pictures. I'm afraid to look at these pictures. I think that once I have lost all the weight, I'm gonna look at the pictures, but I'm not ready to look at the pictures yet. In fact, I've been having a hard time looking at the scar because when I was 320 and I'm just about 250 now, like less than two pounds for 250. When I was at 320 and heavier, it looked bad. It was horrendous. I mean, it was scary. It was ugly. It just, ugh. and I couldn't stand to look at it. I couldn't touch it. I couldn't do anything. Like my belly button isn't even in the same spot anymore. In fact, it's kind of hard to like see it even now. It's there. Don't get me wrong, but it's kind of shifted off this way, um, and I think as I continue to lose the weight, it'll become more visible. It's just, well, I'll show you. And you see this this flap this flap here that pouch that. That's where I gained weight with the tumor. Because that's like where the tumor was sitting. It was in there. And I had remembered one day before I even knew about the tumor. Like I was, like, because it felt so heavy. And it was a lot bigger than it is now. It was like hanging down. I felt so heavy. I picked it up and I felt something really hard in there. And I thought, God, what is that? A couple weeks later, I'm in the hospital. Um, but when after the surgery they had to remove the fatty pad uh well during the surgery i should say they removed a fatty pad so this is even with them having removed a fatty pad and that's all because of the tumor and but now finally it's starting to get smaller finally like that has been like the most embarrassing part is this flab hanging down here okay are you ready I see it. It's not pretty.
but you can see how it's problematic to find the belly button with this little tiny flap here. But yeah, this is that where the tumor had set. Which is why it looks freaking awful. But since I'm showing, you can see how the top here, because I used to have a flap there, has is getting flat now. It's just this part here. That's what I need to work on. And it's what I am working on. And as you can see, like, because, okay, let me show you again real quick. See this here? This is where all my pants used to go. Like my jeans, like my waistline. But the problem now is that zipper, that metal zipper, goes right over and sits literally right on top of the scar. And it, I've tried to wear jeans with the zipper and it just scrapes the crap out of that poor scar. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to where I won't have to wear maternity jeans all the time. Because I have to wear mater maternity jeans so that I have something cloth that goes over that instead of metal that cuts it. So I'm going to have to figure something out.